Question number 21. So molar specific heat or constant volume of an ideal gas is equals to so 2.5 times so universal gas constant 8.314. So he is saying that so molar specific heat at constant volume. So molar specific heat at a constant volume. So molar specific heat is generally specific heat is something that so the amount of energy needed to increase the temperature of unit mass of a substance by unit degree. So here instead of unit mass we have one mole. So what is the amount of energy needed so to increase temperature of one mole of substance by one degree? So we say it's molar specific heat. So molar specific heat at a constant volume. So this is given as 2.5 times so universal gas constant. So when temperature increases by 100 Kelvin, the change in molar uh, specific enthalpy is. So generally we write uh, enthalpy like this. So he is asking change in enthalpy. This change in enthalpy we write as MCP delta T. So this is per unit mass in terms of mass. So if I write the same thing per mole, so I can write so molar specific heat so into number of moles. So this many joules. So he is asking us to get the value of molar specific enthalpy for one mole. I can say, so delta H per a mole is nothing but Cp bar times delta T. So I can write like this. So Cp bar minus Cv is your R bar, universal gas constant. So from here I can get the value of Cp. Cp is nothing but Cv plus R. Cv is 2.5 plus R. I can say it's 3.5 times R. So this is your molar specific heat at constant pressure. I can say this is 3.5 R bar this is 8.314 so kilojoule per kilo mole kelvin into delta t is your 100 so i can say if i simplify this one 2909.9 joules per mole so this is joules that's joules per mole